and it's Richard and back again and today we're gonna to be taking a look at something called the Talos Mini that comes together with the tank what I've got here in my hand nice small cute not really small but more like slim it's very very slim yeah in a way tiny as well to be honest well Talos the name in Greek mythology actually means uh, man of brass which is what they have named this device so anyway let's go ahead and check out the Talos Mini by Smokejoy <laughs> Just check out how it, you know, chugs. And this is from this small, tiny little fella here. <laughs> like a stealth vape, you know, small guy, dinky little fella. Flavor is also good as well. I mean, although this vapes very, very well, but it's not exactly the best looking device in town, you know. Well, at least that's my opinion of it. We'll get to, you know, see it in the close-up. I'll show you what I mean by that. When I first got it, I looked at it like, this looks like something out of Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're a newbie or if you're new into vaping, you want to try things like titanium coil, this would be it. You know, it is so easy to use, fuss free. And even for experienced vapors, people like me, you know, sometimes when I'm working, I'm on the go all the time, I just want to pop in a tank and off I go. I don't want to have the hassle of, even though I'm using a titanium build, adjusting the, the the watts and things like that this only has one single button that's all it has and what it does is it, it actually senses the resistance of your coil everything is on autopilot it fires itself with the right amount of uh, what do you call power and i've not got a dry hit from it it's not turned hot on me or anything like that it is just wonderful <laughs> this comes with an rva section and really this device is absolutely idiot proof don't care how it looks we'll get to have a look at it in the close-ups afterwards you know it vapes really well good flavor good vapor as I mentioned again and again looks wise well we'll let you decide okay because like they say one man's meat is another man's poison let's go into the close-ups right now check this out up close and personal and then come back we'll vape on it we'll talk some more catch you in a bit this is the Talos Mini this is the mixed tank that's the atomizer in there that's how the packaging comes in in a cardboard box like that with the uh, red S logo here right on top and at the bottom you have your scratch and check authenticity sticker Talos Mini Smoke Joy and you have an option of choosing any one of these colors when you're purchasing them you've got an option to choose black white yellow pink and red okay right underneath you've got contents of the box and also a little warning here if you're 18 and below you're not allowed to use this product made in china some uh, what it call certification logos and of course a little website at the bottom here to smokejoy.com nice sturdy cardboard box here take it off and you have your device in there so we're going to take them out and put them aside and just check what's underneath the sponge here just lift this off and you have some spare cotton spare parts the, the uh, famous little infamous blue screwdriver of course your cotton and you have your QC card here which passed and also a little instruction booklet here in English and also in Mandarin as well in Chinese and one little thing that I'd like to just uh, point out to you is the temperature control system with such high power the battery and atomizer will produce immense heat it may result in breakdown or even an explosion if the temperature is too high there is a temperature control system in the battery to avoid this danger if the temperature reaches a certain value about 78 degrees centigrade the system will turn off the battery automatically and it won't work continuously until temperature returns to normal value so in short what it's trying to tell you is don't panic this can happen but you've got some safety features here to protect you okay also another thing that I'd like to just point out to you that if you do uh, have one puff for more than 10 seconds it'll automatically uh, automatically shut off right apart from that specifications recommended for use and things like that and also over here teaches you how to do your bill on the RBA this is the mixed tank teaches you how to fill the juice and so forth and all the different parts that makes up the tank at the start here a little story to tell you about Talos so besides that a little bit of Greek mythology history there here is silica gel here to keep your device dry and not uh, uh, to prevent humidity and build up okay so you have your micro USB charger here 
and also three stock, uh, two stock coils and one RBA here. So the RBA looks like that, which is very much similar to your Kangatech Mini Sub Tank uh, RBA. You have a little screw here, and in there there's a pre-built coil, and underneath you have your airflow. I'm just gonna get a little screwdriver and try and open up this little screw here and show you what's inside. So you have the top portion here, and you have got this little cap on top where you can, you know, remove it. So it's exactly like your sub tank mini. And here you have your two Phillips screws. Just put your build in there, screw it up, and that's it. So it's a very simple way to build your coil. The airflow at the bottom it comes with a pre built coil. So what you basically do, slot this back into the slot, screw it down, and that's it. All right, the stock coil, this actually comes with a titanium 0.4 ohms. That's what it's rated at. And this is one of your stock coil, vertical coil. You've got a little spit back gauze up there. This is your juice hole. This is this little tiny stock coil here. And it also comes with a Kenthal, you know, 1.2 ohm coil. So basically that's how it comes in. And we're going to have a look at the device right now. This is your Talos Mini. They could have just not put this, you know, stripe on. Would have looked better if it was just plain black like that. This looks painted on it, and uh, to me it looks kind of cheesy. And yeah, with this little design all underneath here. Made by Smoke Joy, happy vaping, enjoy life. But then again, like I said, one man's meat is another man's poison. You may like this here, but I don't. So anyway, just moving on. There's a little embossed uh, logo here. Smoke Joy, certification logos right here. And this is your firing button, and that's all there is to it. There's no display for wattage or even uh, you know buttons for you to set your wattage or everything like that. Basically, when you attach your mix tank onto this and fire it, it will apply the right amount of power to you know heat up your coil. So besides that, if you take a look at the bottom here, you've got your micro USB, you've got some vent holes all along here for your battery to vent, two flip screws to hold this plate down to the device, and it does look very toyish. Okay, so you can, uh, initially when I first got this uh, device, I thought, you know, they, they, they have plastic here, which was chromed plastic, but it's not. Uh, what I did was on the white one, which I was using, I actually scraped it out and sandpapered it, and it turns out it is made of copper, okay? Just to let you know, this whole entire device is actually made out of uh, aluminum and zinc alloy. So you have on top here a uh, 510 spring-loaded pin here, You've got these little uh, channels here for atomizers that require airflow from the bottom. So you have another two screws here to hold this panel down. And that's it. Five clicks to turn it on, five clicks to turn it off. I'm going to bring it closer. One, two, three, four, five. And you have a light flash there. One, two, three, four, five. And it turns off. All right. So when you fire it, one, two, three, four, five to turn it on again. And when you fire it, it lights up. So. What I'm going to do right now, just to show you, I'm going to unscrew the bottom panel and the top panel just to show you what's underneath here. You've got two hex screws. So I'm just going to take them off. That's one there. All right, so that's the cover for it. And you've got Oh, sorry, it's dropped off a silicon o-ring that goes around here. Okay, and this goes up against the battery. And you have a yellow foil here to prevent the negative from touching the copper here to cause a short. And that's your negative soldered onto the battery itself. The battery uh, is the battery capacity is 3000 milliamp hours. You have your micro USB here. There's a chipboard right here. So that's your battery. And on this side, let's take it off and see as well. That would be your positive and your negative probably sorted onto the 510 pin, if I'm not mistaken. So once this is 
removed all the screws just make be very careful I, I don't advise you to open up you know this section yourself but I'm opening up just to let you have a look at it I've got three screws where's the other screw okay I'm just gonna pull it out like that there you go you've got your negative soldered onto the side here which is the black wire the red wire is your positive so this goes right underneath where your 510 pin is all right it's not adjustable it's got a spring loaded so if you the thing is if you have it adjustable then you know this might turn and it might snap your soldering here so that's the battery in there and there's the chip on this side so if you notice if i press this that's the led light to fire it all right so basically just that i'm no expert in this so basically i just want to show it to you and let's move on to the tank itself this is called the mixed tank and um, you've got your drip tip here which looks a little bit thin on the top you know when thickness is concerned and it's got two drip tip air holes here one on each side which is supposed to help you dissipate heat and probably you know if you want more vapor production you turn it open there's a little marking marker point here where if you just align it to the air hole it means the air hole is opened and if you want to close it down which I normally do I will close the air hole down because if you keep it open it will actually kill the flavor so what I do is I will turn it and make sure it's turned off okay that's what I like and this is removable that's your see the air hole on your drip tip yep you can open up this section here this is to fill your tank this pops out like that it's got a silicon ring around it and thread it just a little bit for you to screw it down it just goes in here and comes out here just like most atomizers with top fill design and that's your standard shaft there at the bottom you have your non-adjustable 510 pin in brass smoke joy logo and you have a uh, airflow control here cyclops cyclone style both sides just to let you see you can remove the bottom here you have your contact pin inside in the middle and right there you have your center shaft there you've got your windows here to let you see your juice levels just fit in your coils here if you want to you can have your rebuildable let's say if you have your rebuildable just put it in there and just screw it back on it goes up against the shaft all right fill up your juice pop this back on screw it back in and that's it that's the tank together with the Talos Mini just fit this in all right that's how it looks welcome back to FaceTime and before we go on please excuse the pitter patter that's going on outside today is the first of many many more rainy days to come because we're slowly but surely going into the monsoon season here in Malaysia so do bear with me if you've got any extra sound effects that's coming on the video all right so back to the Talos mini that I have here what do I think of it ladies would love this small as you can see in my hands so tiny all right for the week or so that I've been you know using it I've used it a couple of tanks right now no leak issues works perfectly beautifully nice okay so it comes with a titanium stock coil as well rated at 0.4 ohms which is what I have in the tank right now I've been trying it out with the uh, RBA and also the uh, titanium coil as well I do understand some of you might be going don't use it don't use it you don't know what kind of fumes you're gonna be inhaling because it doesn't show you the temperature there's no display for temperature there's no display for the wattage that it's firing at so this is basically on autopilot on its own okay so it's it senses whatever core resistance you have there and it fires it so again I'm not an authority to tell you what to use and what not to use so you make that decision yourself do some research do some homework and find out if you want to use titanium all right as for me I'm cool with it all right so I'm gonna take a vape right now To me, it's still safer than smoking a cigarette. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that aside, okay, it also works on canthol as well. So if you're uncomfortable with titanium, so be it, you know, use canthol. 
It's got good battery life. I've had it uh, charged and been using it for about two days and it's still going strong. Okay, Good vapor and flavor as well. Easy, fast free, no problems at all. Single button. What else? Just press. That's it. Hit the button and you're on. 65 watts. Uh, minimum resistance is 0.2 ohms for Kenthal and if you're using titanium coils it's 0.4 ohms. 3 ml capacity Okay, and uh, that should last you a day. So no problems at all. Really, my only gripe is the cheesy looking stripe here. I wish they'd do away with that. Just leave it white or any other color, you know. And just put a small little Talos word here. That should be fine. And take away the S. Although I know it stands for Smoke Joy, but it is just not it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> those are my only <laughs> complaints about it. How much and where can you get one? Malaysia, this I found the only place that's selling it is from leilong.com.my If you just key in your computer, Talos Mini, and you'll see that it's by a company called Vape Space and they're retailing this for 219 ringgit, 219, okay? So uh, when it comes to kits like that, I've done a comparison with other kits that fire cent 75 watts. Uh, you pay about 240, 250 ringgit. So this is a little bit cheaper than that. So again, you do the you know pros and cons, weigh it yourself, and see whether you you'd like this. Okay, this one, like I said, the ease of just firing it one single button, good for noobs, and with the others you might have to set the wattage and things like that so if you're not sure that you just want something that you can fire up and go that's it you know so it is it for experienced vapors as well if you want to have the convenience of having something simple like that well you know where to get one in the US this is retailing for 50 to 60 US dollars and I found out in the UK it's going for about 40 pounds okay so that's the price and where you can get one I'm gonna leave links in the description box below and I'm gonna have another vape right now <sighs> ah, nice all right so Christmas comes early <laughs> I'm going to do something different. Come on. I know the guys are going to be up in arms, but I've got three extras here, which I want to give away to all the ladies out there. I got a red one, I got a yellow one, and I've got a pink. All right. So I've got three Talos minis here. I want to give it strictly just for the ladies. The fact that it's small, and like I said, I'm sure the ladies would love it. So I'm sorry, guys. Yep, those three are for the ladies, and uh, if you have a weird, you know, handle name which I cannot recognize, you know, the gender, whether it's a guy or a girl, well, you have to tell me in the comment box below whether you're a guy or a girl, and uh, yeah, I'll pick out the winner, announce it, you have to have a little a bit of patience, I, I don't know when I'm going to announce the winners, but once I announce it, then I'll get your details and I'll send it to you right away, okay, so good luck to you, three lucky ladies that will be walking away one each with the Talos Mini. So that about wraps it up. One more vape and we'll call it a wrap. Until I talk to you again, vape safe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. God bless. Bye for now.